What's good, family? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sample in the MPC software, okay? This is my sampling tutorial for the MPC. I hope you get something out of it. If you do, please like the video. Please comment if you have any questions or anything. Please share the video with somebody that may need this kind of help and add it to your playlist all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a sample from youtube now there's a couple of things i'm gonna need first uh i've seen videos where people tell you to download some software and it'll let you record the internal audio but my i have a audio interface that lets me do that already it's called the Focusrite 8i6, Focusrite 8, 8 input, and 6 outputs. And that video, ha that audio interface has a feature called loopback, which enables me to record the internal audio from my computer. So I can sample from YouTube if I want to, sample from Spotify, whatever you want to sample from. So first thing you want to do is open up your MPC software, boom. The next thing you want to do, you want to go to the sample recording. Okay. So let's make sure our sample length is high enough. Uh, right here, we have a threshold. And with the threshold, it just makes it so when the audio passes, let me this up more before I start sampling myself. When the audio reaches past this red bar, sampling will begin. Okay, so that's why you don't hear the sampling right now. So I'm gonna, in a second, I'm gonna lower this down to around. Let's say, yeah somewhere in the 30 db area and we're going to take some sample we're going to take a sample chop it up and let's get started oh so i'm going to open up youtube first i'm going to condense this down so i, I need to see youtube and Okay, I already have my sample loaded up. Let's see, let's make that one quick sample. Okay. So, make sure you can see everything. I'm going to drop this down now. Oh, before I even go any further, there are only certain Focusrite sound cards that will let you have, or audio interfaces that will let you have the loopback features. And I can tell you for one, the Focusrite Solo does not have that feature. I know because I have a Focusrite Solo also. And I'm doing this video using my Focusrite 8i6. So you can see here. Focusrite 8i6, but I also have a Focusrite Solo USB 2, but I'm not using that because it doesn't enable me to record myself. And lower the buffer down a little bit. And on the 8i6, in particular, um, you have to be on channel inputs 5 and 6. There are a couple of other Focusrite solos, uh, Focusrite, excuse me, Focusrite interfaces that will let you do the same thing. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for the one I have. You can go to Amazon and purchase it. It'll be my affiliate link 
So if you purchase it through my link or anything from Amazon, I may receive a uh, commission or compensation for it. I really appreciate it. It does help support the channel if you like the content, and I appreciate you. So let's get started. Enough talking. I want to go ahead and take something short, so hopefully I don't get flagged for this. So now we have the sample that we just chopped. So I'm going to cut the sample down a little bit. So you can trim it right about here. Zoom in as far as you can. Now what I like to do is I like to have this zero snap feature on. What this does is when you move this, it'll move it in such a way that when you chop this, you won't get any clicks and pops when you when you cut the sample, okay? Oh, stop. There we go. Right about there. Then from here, what you want to do is hit discard. Discard will get rid of anything in front of the sample, in front of the start point, and back of the end point. Right now, we're just removing the back of the end point here. So we just have the sample. Hit do it. And there you go. Let's see. So now you have a bunch of different options here. Play all the sample. I'm going to trim off the front of the sample a little bit. Discard this. I'm just getting rid of the stuff that I don't want from the sample. I just want to take that little piece. That's it. All right. So you have this sample. It gives you some information about the sample. It tells you the tempo. You tell it to detect the, PP, the BPM. It detects 162. If you cut that in half, it's at 84. Okay. So you can slice this sample up into pieces. Oh, excuse me. We come over here, we hit chop. Now we can chop this into a couple pieces here. So if I bring my arrow or my mouse above this line, it'll go into chop mode. I'm not going to zoom in all crazy. I don't want to make this video too, too long because I could go crazy. Um, but we'll just put it. You can move this around freely. You want to chop, just hit. Click it here. Wherever you see transients. So now I have four, uh, three or four separate chops. Let's 
uh, add one here. Okay, there's some things you could do with the sample if you want. I could mainly chop it like I just did. I could chop it by threshold. I could chop it by BPM. When I hit it on BPM, I could chop it into 16 30 seconds, quarter notes, which is what I had cut it into before. Cut it into eighth notes. That's if you're in a it's, a, it's a four beat loop, basically. You have a couple options down here. I usually just leave these alone. I like it the way it is. Uh, if you wanna put this on the program, well, let's go back up to fourths real quick. Here we go. So if I click new program, it'll create a new program with just these slices and I could play the slices out, you know, and play the chops while I'm recording. And let's see, let's see. If I hit new program, extract new samples, it will create a new sample for each chop. Like it'll, right here, non-destructive means it's non-destructive. It'll chop this loop we chop this loop, but it's not cut into pieces where, you know, it's not cut into actual pieces, pieces. This is just cutting, you know, I just cut the loop. I just sliced the loop. I didn't cut it, so to speak. I hope that made sense. This one will actually cut, put a cut into each audio sample, and you can extract each sample if you want to. So, you can normalize the sample. I can extract samples, so I can extract any one of these samples. I can normalize. I can normalize each. Oh, whatever. I can normalize different parts. Let me just no, I don't want to do that though. Yeah, I'll just deal with these. You can reverse a sample. Fade in a sample. Linear log exponential just determines the slope of how the fade is. Linear is basically a fade like this, straight down. The other two are more, a little bit more drastic, uh, a little bit more drastic fade out, let's just say. Hit do it. Fades in now. You can fade out. You can pitch shift. Bring it up three. I can only time stretch. I can't time stretch on this right now. If I took away these slices, I'd be able to time stretch the whole loop. You could change the gain. Yikes. You can reduce the bit rate. Well, that's same thing you have to have the whole loop I guess to do that it won't let me do it from this functions menu so if you want to make a new program out of this now just hit new program let's say new program using drum slices that'd be just fine 
non-destructive slices just fine now you can create events for it like it'll basically create MIDI notes on your on your timeline using these slices if I check this and you could create how many bars is for this is only a one bar loop so I would just say one bar let's say to do it so when we go back now we can expand this we're done with the sample Ooh, excuse me go back to the main page it created events for each slice okay now I would People that know me know, know I'm known for sampling. This is very quick. I didn't want to just, I didn't want to drag out this video as long as I did just now, but I did. Um, it's okay. I hope you learned something from it. This is my how to sample on the NPC software tutorial. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. I like to, as a matter of fact, do more than that. Um, if there's another DAW that you're using, even outside the MPC, let me know. Uh, I'll see if I can do videos on that too. Uh, I've been using FL Studio for years also, since probably when it was called Fruity Loops Part 3. Uh, I'm using Ableton Live in conjunction with MPC software right now. Uh, so, I'm, yeah, let me know what you got in the comments. Let me know what other software you're rocking with. I'd love to hear it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments also. And that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to sample on the NPC software. This is your man, Jimmy Conway. In the link to, in the description below, I will leave a link for a free drum kit. If you want to download my free drum kit, it's the Jimmy Conway drum kit. Nothing crazy. But um, the sounds are crazy. And yeah, download my kit for free. It's love. Um, any other link beside the drum kit, free drum kit link will be affiliate links. Uh, those affiliate links help me support the channel monetarily. They do pay me a commission if you go through my link, so I do appreciate it. All the links below will be for Amazon, which I you know, all the gear I use from my keyboards to my drum machine, to my speakers, to my microphone, uh, computer, my audio interfaces, are all in the description below. Amazon links, click those. Anything you buy will help the channel. I appreciate you, one love. It's your man Jimmy Conway, how to sample on the NPC software, and I am out, one.